Hello again, this is Rebel Hayes. I'm going to take you through this again to actually better show you um, how to use the, how to connect your PC to your TV and so on and so forth and use the um, IPTV Pro Plus program so that you can um, watch movies and sports and live content, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, grab your TV remote and on it somewhere it should say settings or menu. One of the two, I'm not sure on your TV, but on ours here it's menu. And what you would do, like for instance, if I wanted to change different to, to different things on the on the back side of the TV, you would choose it by choosing TV, audio, video, one, two, component, RGB, HDMI, whichever programs you're using or whichever menu you're using to get to wherever. Um, you'll want to choose RGB. That's the one that you'll need the most because that's the one that's gonna. It's just a simple cable. The cable on the back of your uh, let me see if you can see this. Uh, it's just this cable right here. Right here on your... Uh, it plugs right in. It's just an uh, uh, SVGA cable. Some use, a, um, some use an HDMI. You can use an SVGA. just depends. It's a $23 cable, to be honest. And it just runs around and connects right here to... The laptop on video out on TV monitor too. So start the program, and then that's basically about all there is to it. It just got a twenty-dollar cable, and the program is actually pretty self-explanatory. You get it started up here. It's a complete private network. So what you'll do is you'll be asked for a password and a username. You just go ahead and type that in. And then it'll tell you, welcome to, welcome you. You have logged into a private member's network only. And that's basically all there is to that. You see this TV is still rolling. It's still on the uh, RGB outlet in the back. Okay, now I've logged in here. This is a screen, just it comes up. It's, uh, I believe, a program in, in the works. It's a beta. Um, using uh, polarized 3D glasses and watching 3D movies and stuff. Anyway, that's the next greatest and latest and that will be coming live here soon. Not sure when, but it is beta and it will be included free, of course, when it's done. But for right now, it's just being used as a backdrop, as a login. Alright, you can go here and you can go Let's Watch TV and this will bring up, this is another backdrop sorry about that, this is another backdrop. All your menus are at the top so you can go to all your menus and stuff like that. We're just going to, well, we'll go to music and we'll select uh, country music TV for now. We'll just use this for uh, what we're doing for the video. All right. And see how it's a different frame? It's all separate, it's separated from the rest of the program. All right. Now I'm just going to drag it over. And it just drags over like that and just drop it you can maximize it and then hit play that's basically all there is to it um, you can watch this on full screen or you can watch it in in the actual uh, player itself um, as, and that works the same with every channel you can come back over to your laptop and you can begin using it for some other task Let's say, since you get two licenses with every version, let's say you're talking to a friend here, you would enter in your username and begin talking to him. Um, it's really pretty simple. You can check the uh, National and Global Alert System. This has an alert system for just about <laughs> everything that's going on as far as earthquakes go. Um, Humanitarian alert system, emergency communication systems, um, radar. It does everything from monitoring heart to uh, you name it. It's here, radiation levels and all of it. It's really interesting because all of it runs in real time. So 
there's really nothing that um, is old information that you're looking at, you know. So uh, it, it even monitors global outbreaks like uh, you know food shortages, uh, different gang violence, and all kinds of different alerts that it'll alert you to. Uh, radiation is one of the main ones. Measuring the CPMs of radiation in the air runs live. It'll tell you for your area. It also tells you where all the nuke plants are at too. So, uh, with that, combined with the uh, emergency floods that we have across the United States, you could watch that. You can monitor everything from your desktop right here. Plus, be completely entertained. <laughs> And it's just a great program. And for under seven bucks, I mean, I don't see where anybody could go wrong, but you never know. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You connect your laptop to your TV with a simple cable. And then you go to your, uh, your desktop settings. And you click on properties, right click, and then go to properties. And then once that menu comes up for your and also you can do this with uh, for instance if you have a uh, regular card that supports two monitors so if you just have a PC that supports two monitors you can do it as well with that with an HDMI cable or SVGA cable anyway after you get to the uh, settings here you're going to go to settings and it'll give you a choice uh, right here you see monitor 2 what resolution you want to run it at the depth, the color depth, and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's basically it. That's what you're looking for. You got two monitors like that on your video card that supports two monitors. You're good to go. You can start doing whatever it is you want. This is, like I say, been designed to accommodate the two monitor system, and it runs flawless. That's a 52-inch screen, and that looks pretty, pretty sharp. And when you minim when you um, let's go over here, let's maximize corner to corner. All right, now we want to minimize our framework, and there it is, running full screen. Incredible! Look at that. You'd never even know you were watching IPTV programs. It's just running like real TV. All from the laptop. All right, well, I hope this has helped. I hope it's been somewhat informative. You guys take it easy and have a great day.